The next inbuilt type is the Boolean type, which stands for false and true. In JavaScript, these values false and true are represented by 0 and 1. It also allows various other values which it will treat as true and false. Let's see what they are. Copy, paste, we will start the script block by starting with a boolean. Change the title to boolean within script where b1 is equal to, to create a new object you use new boolean. And to the constructor you can pass a value 0. That means this is false. Similarly, where b2 is equal to new boolean 1 document dot write b1 document dot write b2. Save it as boolean dot html. Open it in a web browser and the results are false and true. So 0 represents false and 1 represents true. Add a line break at the end. Let's see some other values now. Create b3. Pass in a value of string, empty string. Save it and display b3. Add a line break here as well. Copy that, paste it, b3, save, go back to the browser, refresh, false, true, false. So if you pass in an empty string, the result will be false. Use a nan, not a number, and see what the result is. n capital A is small and n capital again. Change this to b4 document dot write b4 plus within double quotes br refresh false again so except for one so far everything is false one more null pass in a value null b5 copy paste this line print b5 onto the browser refresh even that is false let's try as by passing in a string which is not blank let me cancel this go back b6 and pass in any string of length non-zero length hello copy the document dot write line paste it print the value of b6 back to the browser and it said true so if uh, the length of the string is not zero then it will be true but if it is zero if it is a blank here like this then you see that the result is false so always remember that one and non-zero length string when passed to a boolean constructor will return a boolean true. Everything else, nan, null, blank string or length zero string and also zero will return false.